Hi everyone and welcome back to the Botanical Witch. Tonight I wanted to take you along and show you how to make an Ostara egg candle. Ostara, also known as the Spring Equinox, is a time of celebration as night and day are now in balance. Light will soon take over the night and signs of spring are coming. This is a great time to start your seedlings and is a time of rebirth and renewal. So come sit for a spell and let's get started. Before jumping in, as always, do a really good cleansing of your sacred space and the tools that you'll be using. First step is taking an eggshell like this and you'll need to wash it and scrape the membrane out of it and then dry it really well. For this video, I'm doing three egg candles, but you can do as many as you'd like. Next, you'll need to take some tea light candles like this one. And what I did is I just pulled out the wick out of the middle of it and I'm using that wax, remelting it and pouring it into my egg candle. Place your tea light wax that you're going to be using for your egg shells in a heat proof container and you can pop it in the microwave until fully melted or you can use it in a double boiler. This part is optional, but once your wax is melted, you can add a little bit of color to it. I'm using a candle colorant from the Flaming Candle, but you can also use a little bit of mica powder or you can just keep it plain. I'm going to put my colorant into my melted wax and I'm going to stir it really well. This process takes a little bit longer, so I'm going to speed this up. After your colorant is fully mixed into the wax, it's time to place your little wicks into your eggshells. Now it's time to carefully pour your wax into your eggshells, making sure that you don't pour it over the wick. Let your candles cool for a bit and then you can add herbs to them. The first candle I'm using lavender and lavender is great for purification, for tranquility, and it is associated with Ostara. The next herb I'm using is chamomile and I'm going to put this on the second candle. Chamomile is a great plant to use for any Ostara ritual or spell as it's associated with the sun. And as we know, the sun is gaining strength and the days are getting longer. On the third candle, I decided to use rose petals as this is also associated with Ostara. Unfortunately, my camera stopped working as I was sprinkling on the rose petals. This is also optional, but I decided to use a little bit of gold glitter on my candles. Gold is associated with Ostara, and it also reminds me of the sun and the solar energy that I'm trying to welcome back into my home. Your Ostara egg candles are now complete. You can set these on your spring altar or place them anywhere in your home and light them on Ostara to help welcome in and celebrate the changing of the seasons, the warmth, and the sun returning. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Until next time, have a magical day.